Number one, do you know what I'm referring to when you said it's a metaphor? What am I referring to? Uh, these are not actual body parts. We don't believe any. Uh, oh, any that's no. You, don't tell me what you don't believe. You're not an alim. You're not a scholar. And you don't represent what scholars teach. Because I want to quote to you sources that say, your scholars say, these are the sifat of Allah, his attributes. So who are you? By the way, let me see. Are you a scholar? No. Are you an alim? No. Are you a sheikh? No. Okay, so then how dare you speak? Do you not fear Allah? Because Allah will hold you accountable. Because you believe in Allah, I don't. If you say something in ignorance, Allah will judge you, right? Okay, but I have listened to the Muslim scholars. Who have you heard? You want me to give you your ulama, I'll play a clip right now, telling you these are the attributes of Allah. They are unlike anything creation. We don't explain how, but we affirm them. You want me to quote you scholars? Like, he doesn't call himself a scholar, but he's a student of scholars. Sheikh Asim al-Hakim, or even Uthman ibn Farooq that everyone loves, or Daniel Hakikachu. I'm going to prove to you these are his actual characteristics. Okay, are you ready? Chapter 38 from verses 71 to 75. I'm going to put it on the screen. So answer and don't avoid it because then you're wasting my time and yours. Here it is. Remember when your Lord said to the angels, truly, I'm going to create man from clay. So when I have fashioned him and breathed into him his soul, which is not what the Arabic says, but we'll go with it, Salali Khan, created by me, then you will fall down prostrate to him. So Allah created Adam. From clay, breathe the spirit into him to make him alive and told the angels to bow down. So the angels prostrated themselves, all of them, except Iblis. He was proud as one and was one of the disbelievers. Allah said, Oh, Iblis, what prevents you from prostrating yourself to one whom I have created with both my hands? Both my hands. Are you too proud to fall prostrate to Adam? Or are you one of the high exalted? Here Allah says he created Adam with both his hands. If you tell me this is a metaphor, what does it refer to? Because here, watch what you're going to say. So these two hands, what do they refer to? You, can compare, you cannot compare it to human hands. Like I didn't say they're human hands. Don't change the argument. My hands are not like the hands of a dog. My hands are not like the hands of a gorilla. The hands of the gorilla is not like the hands of a chimpanzee. I didn't say his hands are human hands. Don't twist my words. Do you believe Allah has actual hands? No. Okay, so what does hands mean? Maybe, I don't know. We don't have any clear idea yes, about that. Do. One. The clear evidence is these are his actual hands. They're two right hands according to the sunnah, even though they're unlike anything. Because if these are not actual hands, then why is Allah saying to Iblis, you should have bowed down to Adam because I made him with both my hands. If this is not referring to his actual hands, then there's nothing special about Adam because everyone would have been created by the power of Allah. But here he's saying, Adam is special. I created him with my hands. That's why I should bow to him. No, it is not special because he is created by hands. Because it is, he is special because he was Don't created without, without Allah. Own father. That's Allah's argument. Allah argued with Satan, not you. So are you better than Allah? Allah said to Satan, why didn't you bow to him when I made it with both my hands? So he's making an argument. Shaitan, Iblis, you did not bow to Adam, even though I honored him by creating with both my hands. Allah made it his argument against Iblis, showing the special status. Why are you denying it, Ya Kafir? No, I'm not denying that. Yes, because, you uh, are. It, it, because, because, because whatever you say, because I have heard this argument from some some Christian scholars. But no, not Christian scholar. You didn't hear from Christian. You heard it from your Sunni, Ahl al-Sunnah wa Jama'a. Don't change it. No, they, they, they don't tell the, these are physical hands or something. They give different opinions. So no, the different, opinion different the opinions are Ashari, the Ashari okay. and the Maturidi, who okay. because of philosophy had to okay. do ta'wil. However, when you go back to the three generations of Muslims, the Salaf Salih, they did not explain them as metaphors. They didn't make ta'wil. They say these are his hands. Allahu alam. Yeah, Allah knows what, what his hands are yeah. like. So stop yeah. changing your religion before I block you. No, no, I'm not changing that. That that is what I believe to. That is both my both his hands. But you're not we a scholar. Have... So why are you changing the religion? We are not changing. That's a video that Allah Allah knows. That's Allah knows better. Okay, that, so do you admit saying. that Allah has two hands that are right, even though they're unlike anything in creation? I believe Allah has those. I believe in those words, but I don't know what is mean by hands. That's that's. I didn't what I ask think. you what you know because you're supposed to say billa kaif, billa kaifa. So you don't need to know. You just need to believe. Do you believe? Yeah. Yeah. Allah has two right hands like the Quran and your prophets hadith say. I believe in those words, but I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, uh, explain those things. I didn't ask you to explain. Now, do you yeah. believe Allah has a shin? What? He's a shin. He has a leg. 
like so if, if he says so then i believe that one okay so you're good now you're being honest now you're having fear of allah you said if he says so then i believe yes it is. he did here it is allah's shin from sal bukhari volume 9 book 93 number 532s here i'm going to put it on the screen and that's how you're going to recognize him that allah will make himself known by his shin meaning his leg narrate abu said al-khudri then allah the almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw the first time. And he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. And none will speak to him. Then but the prophets, only the prophets then will speak. And then it will be said to them, do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say the shin. Now let me read carefully. And so Allah will then uncover his shin, his leg. Whereupon every believer will prostrate before him. And there will remain those who used to prostrate before him just for showing off and for gaining good reputation. So the way you are going to recognize Allah, he's going to uncover his leg, his shin bone, and you're going to see it. So do you believe Allah has a shin? Okay, I believe in those words, but we, we cannot compare that one. to Our, our leg saw something. We just believe in that uh, one. We why don't know are you what resisting the argument? Did I say his leg is like your leg? Is your leg like a dog's leg? No. Is a dog's leg like a cat's leg? No. Is a cat's leg like a giraffe's leg? No. Okay, so when you tell me Allah's leg is not like anything in creation, so what? I'm, I'm not saying Allah's leg is like my leg, but he still has a leg, like I have a leg, like dogs have legs. So all I want to know is, you agree Allah has a leg and a shin, right? <sighs> I don't know, I believe in those words. But you, you, you have a definition of leg. But definition of leg is completely different from definition. What is? You were going to get, can I send you back to Mecca to kiss a black stone? Because you're wasting my time. I just told you, Allah has a leg and it's unlike any other leg. But it's still a leg. Hands, okay, okay. unlike any other hands, but it's still hands. Why you keep telling okay. me I have okay. a definition? I'm just okay. telling you, this is okay. what Allah has. It's unlike anything in creation. Simple and sweet and to the point. Do you agree? Okay, so, okay, okay, so I make your point now. Okay, so what a I question about what? We're on the topic of Allah because I'm not done with Allah. Why are you running? No. Do you believe the Quran is uncreated? It's kalam Allah and has no beginning? It has a beginning, but I think it is different. for have Allah end. is stuck for Allah. You are kafir, munafiq, because I'm going to quote to you Ahl al-Sunnah wa Jama'ah, and I'll give you the creeds of people like Imam al-Tahawi that says, okay. you cannot say Quran is created, it's kalam Allah, it's not makhluq. If you do, you're kafir. It's stuck for Allah. You kafir. I want you to make tawbah to Allah, say, Allah, forgive me for saying Quran is created because it is kalam, speech of Allah. It's one of his sifat. It's uncreated. So are you going to okay. repent, make Tawbah and say, yeah, Quran is uncreated? No, yeah, Quran is uncreated, yeah. Okay, yeah, so now you admit it's uncreated. Good. Okay. Now, why don't you do me a favor? You're still learning your deen. Can you go and bring me someone who's a little more knowledgeable? Because I don't want to keep asking you questions because you said you're not a scholar. You're not a da'i. Are you a da'i? No. Okay. Do me a favor. I want to be fair with you and gentle. Go find someone. You know where I'm at. Say, hey, you, you are a da'i or you're an alim. Look, this kafir here. He's trying to prove Islam is false. Can you take him on and send him my link? Okay. No, because actually, Sam, because what you are you are telling here, those can kind you go of get me as please, man? Because I don't have too much time. I don't want to waste time. You're a young man. You're not knowledgeable. I don't want to pick on you. Honestly, I'm trying to be nice. I'm not like some people who want to pick on someone who doesn't know. Because when I refute, you're gonna say, ah, oh, but he wasn't a scholar. He wasn't a da'i. You coward. You didn't take us. Okay, <clears throat> that's why I want to be gentle on you. Go get me a sheikh. Or an alim or a da'i. Please, I'm here. Okay? No, I don't have Thank anyone you. at the moment. F yeah. You find them online. Go find or go call and say, here's the link. And come back. I'll be here. Okay? Okay, take care. I